Good afternoon, everyone. Also yesterday, the Department of Justice presented its arguments before the Ninth Circuit Court in the case concerning the temporary restraining order on the President's National Security Executive Order. Again, as I did yesterday, I want to emphasize that the issue before the Ninth Circuit right now is extremely narrow. The question is simply whether or not the President's Executive Order, which we maintain is fully lawful under the Constitution and U.S. Code, should remain in effect while the courts actually consider it on its merits. We expect the court to issue a decision on this matter soon, uh, and we will have a statement once that's done. Also on the Hill, we another we expect uh, Attorney General designate Sessions to receive a full vote on the floor of the Senate tonight. As unfortunately has become commonplace in the Senate, Democrats once again spent hours last night in a counterproductive discussion about one of President Trump's clearly qualified nominees, not to mention one of their peers. Senator Sessions has a long and distinguished legal career, serving as both the U.S. Attorney of the Southern District of Alabama and also as Al Alabama's Attorney General. Um, and so, it disgraceful. But, but I, I, I think it disgraceful. Is that the type of language? Yeah. I, I think the president, when government. you look at the U.S. Code and how clear it's written and the authority and power it gives the president to do what is necessary to keep this country safe and regulate who comes into this country, I think it's a very, very clear reading. And the president was very, you know, I think he further went on and said, it doesn't matter what level of education you're at. I don't think you could misread this. So I, I think I, 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 I think he was very clear with Jeff. So thank you. Daniel Alper. I was curious about this tweet that President Trump uh, about his daughter's brand. Yeah. And then it was retweeted by the POTUS account. What's the standard that the president's doing in regards to his family businesses or that business? Well, I, I think this was less about his family business and an attack on his daughter. Um, he ran for president. He won. He's leading this country, and I think for people to take out their concern about his actions or his executive orders on members of his family, he has every right to stand up for his family and, and uh, applaud their, their, their business activities, their success. Uh, so, look, when it comes to his family, I think he's been very clear how proud he is of what they do and what they've accomplished. And for someone to take out their concern with his policies on a family member of her, his, it's just is not acceptable, and the president has every right as a father to stand up for them. Last evening with Elizabeth Warren, uh, Coretta Scott King, these words, I want to I get your reaction to these words uh, that were not allowed. Uh, Mr. Sessions has used the awesome power of his office to chill the free exercise of the vote by black citizens in the district he now seeks to serve as a federal judge. And she's basically saying that Sessions has <laughs> indifference towards criminal violations of civil rights laws. What do you say to that? Well, obviously, we have a lot of respect for her and the sacrifices that she made um, and the sacrifices that, frankly, she endured in her life. Uh, but I would respectfully disagree uh, with her assessment of Senator Sessions then and now. Um, his record on civil and voting rights, I think, is outstanding. Um, and like Arlen Specter, the late Arlen Specter, I can only hope that if she was still with us today, that after getting to know him and to see his record and his commitment to voting and civil rights, that she would share the same view that Senator Specter did, where he said, although I voted against him getting to know the man that is now, I regret that vote. Thank you guys. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I know. I see him tomorrow.